Culture Talk Canada is our first market research report on the cultural consumer in Canada that we've done in 30 years. So it really understands the motivators and the barriers for Canadians to access the arts. The arts and culture sector really wants to understand the landscape in which they're operating so they can better strategize for the future. What's critically important for arts leaders and the business community and government funders to understand is what drives them, motivates them to go to the arts, but also what are those barriers. And I think some of the findings that have come out of that work have been surprising. Well, there was a culture tax study that ran for seven years in the U.S. and it went viral. It absolutely went viral to all the heads of the arts organizations, to businesses, on media. It was so impactful that it ended up up here and it was circulated through our corporate community as well as the arts community. The entire delegation from the Canadian Arts Summit basically said, we need something like this for Canada. Our chair at the time of the summit was Dave Bennett and he said, who would be willing to invest in this? and all hands went up, and the process got started. So we worked with the Canadian company to actually do the survey, and we worked with the LaFlaca team to do the analysis. It truly was a huge effort and collaborative project uh, that included many, many stakeholders in Canada. If we were to summarize the study, we're looking at Canadians that are highly engaged in culture, but that they are democratic, that it's not necessarily just structured traditional cultural activities like going to the theater and the play. It's also about festivals. It's about cultural experiences. What really popped for me when I looked at the numbers was that these Canadians that speak a language other than French or English at home, whether they're speaking Tagalog or Punjabi or Mandarin or whatever, they're very culturally engaged. They're very culturally active. Now the kicker is is that when we ask Canadians who do not participate in cultural activities, the number one reason that they give is that they don't think that the cultural activity is for people like themselves. So what does that mean? That means that Canada can do a better job at making sure that we actually have a diversity of cultural activities. And I think that's probably the next phase that should be a major challenge for cultural organizations. Arts leaders now have a fountain of knowledge about what the Canadian culture consumer is looking for, what will inspire them to walk through your door. And we heard about the ideal cultural experience needs to be fun. People are drawn to the arts because it's social, interactive, they feel a sense of belonging, community. It's helping Canadians clearly de-stress and what arts bring to the table in terms of that sense of community and sense of belonging. One of the things I just want to leave you guys with, or have you perhaps chew on a bit, is the idea that culture can make us better. That culture can be an agent through which we first understand, then appreciate, and perhaps then celebrate that connection. For every trend, there is still the counter trend of what makes us human, which is the desire to connect, the desire to have direct experience and interaction whether it's the company of strangers or social experiences perhaps around culture shared with friends. 